Now we come to pressure and stress. Pressure is defined as a normal force exerted by a fluid per unit area. So it will be given as force F divided by A where that is force per unit area. So we speak of pressure only when we deal with a gas or liquid. The counterpart of pressure in solids is normal stress. Since pressure is defined as force per unit area, it has the unit of newtons per square meter, which is called as Pascal and is denoted by Pa. So 1 Pa, that is 1 Pascal, is equal to 1 newton per meter square. The pressure unit Pascal is too small for pressures encountered in the practice. So units like kilopascal and megapascal are used appropriately where needed. In the English system, the pressure unit is pound force per square inch, so which is written as you can see, it's a small thing and one atmospheric pressure therefore is equal to 14.696 psi. The same thing just to show you in the picture also, this terminology we use every day, pressure, stress. So they are related to each other also and pressure as we have said is force per unit area so the total force, if the total force is F, we divide it by total area on which the force is being applied. Force over S, the ratio, will be defined as the pressure at the point of consideration. Like in generality, stress is also defined as the force per unit area in vector terms. So, if you look at this side picture, if there is a surface which is shown in gray color, and the force, the vector force F has component Ft and Fn. Fn is for force in the normal direction, so that is perpendicular to the surface, and Ft is the tangential force, the tangential component of F, that is, it moves along the surface. So the tangential force has a different value, and of course, at times it may be even the zero, but the force, the normal force, is always there. And that is what we call as pressure. So in terms of stress, force is the normal component. The normal component of force is the pressure. And stress, of course, I have said, is defined in general terms as force per unit area, but then this force is a general vector. It will be defined as a vector and it will have its components along the surface, normal to the surface and so on. The normal surface uh, component is known as normal stress, but that is also the same as the pressure. In a fluid that is at rest, the normal stress is called pressure, which is the normal component of the force. The tangential component that is the force in the tangential direction, the tangent to the surface is called shear stress. So shear stress, we will be using this terminology time and again uh, wherever we are considering real fluids. And these terms are important. So stress, stress is a vector force again, and it will have components so really to give it in value in a certain force per unit area or something would be a little difficult in the sense that it, it may not be precise. But if we take a consider its components which are normal to surface or along its surface, then uh, we define them appropriately. We call them as the stress and the pressure itself is also a kind of stress, except that the only difference is that it is the part of the, it's the component of the stress that acts in the normal direction.
So this picture here again shows the same thing. If a force is being applied on a small surface area dA for example, the force vector F is shown and you can see it here clearly the tangential component Ft that is tangent to the surface, it moves along the surface. So if the surface is curved, the force will also go along it. And this is the normal component is perpendicular to a particular point wherever we are considering it. That's what we need to remember when it comes to pressure and stress and the differences between the two.